Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you the keyframe animation in SketchUp, so let's get started. So, I'm going to use this stair component to demonstrate the keyframe animation. And in order to use the keyframe animation, we need to create a series of scene in the model. So, we'll click on this plus sign. And let's create a few more scenes. And we can delete the scene later that we are not going to use it. And in the scene number one, there will be no movement of any object. So you don't have to do anything to any object. You just have to select this all that you want to move. And you need to click on this uh, record object tool. And now let's go to the scene number two. And now select all these stairs of the stair. And let's move this up to uh, this point. And at the same time, I want to rotate this arrow. Uh, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I'm just showing you that we can uh, do movement and rotation at the same time. You can rotate this any amount you want. Okay, after that, uh, we have to click on this record object. You have to be very careful it. You have to move the object and then you have to click on the record tool. Now let's test the animation. Click on this blue arrow. And now you can click on the scene to test the animation. See, our animation is working perfectly. And now let's go to the scene number 3. And let's move this trail in the Z direction up to this point. And we need to move this all uh, to the forward up to this end point. Okay, at the same time, I want to rotate this arrow. You can rotate this any more you want. Okay, after that, we need to click on this record object. Okay, now let's test the animation. Now let's go to the scene number four. Now let's move this track uh, on the horizon, uh, right this point. And now we need to move this uh, thread in the Z direction up to this point and now we need to move this all uh, forward up to this point okay at the same time we need to rotate this arrow again okay now record the object and test the animation now let's go to the scene 5 
Now let's export this animation and do video. Choose extension, keyframe, and choose export animation and choose standard video. And here you can choose any setting you want. This will only export as an image file. We need to transform this into video file from Photoshop. Okay, exporting process is complete. And now let's open the Photoshop software and go to File and choose Open. And now you need to select the image that you have exported this earlier. Now click on Image Sequence and click Open. And here you can choose any frame rate you want and click OK. Now let's go to the File menu and choose Export and choose Render Video. And here you can choose any name you want and you can choose any setting you want. After you have done, you have to click on the render. Okay, when the exporting video has complete, you can watch your video. So that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel. See you in the next tutorial.